This is a demonstration on how to use the translations of a previous PPF to help translate a new version of a document. You can see in here that we have translations of our original v version 1 document. So if we scroll down you can see that we have lots of English to German translations. What we need to do in order to help translate our version 2 document is go down and click on translate expert in the middle of the three experts and it will open a new window here. We need to choose what document we want to translate for the files to translate section so we want to translate our version 2 docx file. So I will go find that and we'll click on our docx file here alchemy mailer letter v2 and then we need to choose our translation memory which we want to use which will be alchemy mailer letter v1 dot docx dot ppf so we'll click on that and we will use that as our TM. We have our project languages which is our source language and our target language we need to make sure those are set correctly for this one it's our source language is English and our target is German and then we have a fuzzy matching option where we choose how much of a match we want to translate. So if there's a match between segments of 85% or more, it will translate it, but it will also tell you it's a fuzzy match to help you while reviewing. So we'll click OK. Now it'll ask us where we want to create this new PPF of the translated Word document. We'll create it on our desktop, and now it translated. You can see that how many segments were translated and untranslated and how many words were translated and untranslated. So we had 247 words translated. It's a pretty, pretty good amount to get pre-translated for us. So now we need to go open the new PPF we created of our translated item which is the v2 docx.ppf and we can now see that we have a bunch of lines that were translated from the original TM we had. You can also see that there are some lines that are untranslated because there were not matches in the TM we used. Now you can ex export this file by click right clicking and clicking save target as. And we'll call this translated. And we'll click save and we'll go to the desktop and we'll open what we just created and now you can see that by utilizing our version 1 document we we're able to translate quite a bit of our version 2 document now there are only a few words and segments that we need to translate or go through thus saving on costs